My name is Raven, I'm black and Jewish, and this year I'm decorating for Christmas and Hanukkah. Let me explain. Box number one. Box number two. This thing is massive, see that? It's almost as tall as me and I'm 5'7". Wow. So let me explain why I'm decorating for Christmas and for Hanukkah. I have a very interesting relationship to religion. Growing up, I was, oh also, wait, before I get into everything, look at this. This is my menorah. I had to get a pet safe menorah because having actual candles out, my cats will knock it over and probably start a fire and it'll be a whole thing. So pet safe menorah, we love that. So growing up, I was raised by my mom's side of the family and my mom's side of the family is black Southern Christian. And so I was raised Christian for the first 10 years of my life. Then at the age of 10, I had an epiphany and I was like, hey mom, I don't wanna go to church anymore. I don't think this is for me. She said, okay girl, good, cool, cool. I respect that. Very cool mom. So I stopped going to church for two years. I was just kind of floating around. Matza is loving all the cardboard boxes. He's like scratching them and he's living his best life over there right now. As I was saying, I was kind of just floating around without you know, any religious affiliation or spiritual affiliation for a while. And then at the age of 12, I encounter Nietzsche and Buddhism. And I think, hey, this is pretty cool. I think I wanna be a Nietzsche and Buddhist. So I become a Nietzsche and Buddhist. I'm still a Nietzsche and Buddhist, fun fact. And all the while, I am ethnically Jewish. So my dad is an Ashkenazi Jew. I've been Jewish my whole life, but I wasn't really connected with my dad's side of the family until I became an adult. And it wasn't until college that I started to identify with my Jewish heritage. And so as that happened, I started to become more interested in the religious aspects of Judaism as well. I haven't had a B'nai Mitzvah, but I absolutely am Jewish. I'm ethnically Jewish. And oh, look at this skirt for the Christmas tree. This is cute. Ow, <laughs> just ripped out some of my hair. Sir. This is so chaotic. Everyone in the house is like picking up on my chaotic energy. Kenji's running around, Mats is scratching on the cardboard box. It's just, it's a lot. So basically the reason that I celebrate both Christmas and Hanukkah, well one, I don't really celebrate Christmas per se. For me, it's not like a religious celebration. I just have a lot of sentimental value associated with it because my mom's side of the family loves Christmas. Like that's our family holiday where we all always come together and it's like really lovely and really fun. So having a Christmas tree up just makes me feel very nostalgic for my childhood. For me, it's less about like Christ our Lord and Savior, which if that's your thing, no shade at all. Many of my family members are Christian. That's no problem at all. I just don't know if that's my current belief system. I feel like I'm most aligned with Buddhism and Judaism. Anyways, why can't I open this? These are the, the, the balls for the Christmas tree and I just can't. This is how I just open that. You see that? See that mess? That's not right. Well. Oh. Oh, I'm getting glitter everywhere. Well, I guess that kind of comes. <gasps> and then look at these snowflakes. Wow. Let's open the Christmas tree. I'm bringing a very weird chaotic energy to the video today. I don't know what that's about. I need some scissors, one sec. I went a little bit wild during Black Friday. Well, not wild. Okay, within reason. I bought things. Maybe not all things that I need, but definitely things that I want. <laughs> okay, so I guess I went a little wild, but I did a lot of uh, Black Friday shopping. Can I show you one of the things that I got? Oh my God, this is gonna be the thumbnail. Can I show you? Okay, I bought, drum roll please. <laughs> that little like Hanukkah thingies. <laughs> I bought a whole big pack of these because uh, I'm going to a couple Hanukkah parties this year and I figured why not share the wealth? We don't have enough Hanukkah paraphernalia, okay? We always need more. We always need more because under this Christian hegemony here in the United States, we have to intentionally carve out space for Jewish holidays because otherwise we'd be getting left out and pushed to the, you know, the margins. I also got this table runner with menorahs on it. How cute is this? Okay, we're gonna put that up too. Back to the tree. I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, now if I can just open this. Come on. There we go. Ooh, she's thick. She's thick with three C's. Oh, oh my God, this is so fun. So I got one of those like fake Christmas trees, obviously, cause I have cats, so I couldn't get a real one. But the first time I got one that has like the fake snow on it, look how pretty. 
Isn't that stunning? This is a six foot tree and it says, please allocate 30 to 45 minutes to fluff and shape the tree. Okay, I will fluff and shape her until she is giving all the voluptuous realness we need and deserve. And one of the nice things about this tree is uh, that it has lights built into it because one thing I don't like doing when decorating a Christmas tree is the lights. That, that's not fun for me, okay? <laughs> I can't get over these little, <laughs> it's my new favorite thing, I'm gonna wear this literally for the entire month of December. <laughs> Not even kidding. So this is the base. I might have to, ooh, okay. I hope I don't need an engineering degree to put this stuff together because that's one thing about being a homeowner. I made a video about this a couple months back, like about buying my property and blah, 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 blah. But one of the things about being a homeowner is you pays to be handy because whatever you can't fix yourself, you're gonna have to pay someone else to fix. So I've definitely been building a lot more stuff than I ever have in my life. and. Been having to learn how to be way more handy than I ever anticipated becoming. But that's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. I think it's important that we're all empowered to fix and do. I, I say that as I'm like not even reading the instructions. Let me read the instructions before I start trying to put pieces together. Good Lord. So I need to have the top section, check. Middle section, check. Bottom section, check. Wait, middle section two? What, what do you mean middle section two? Oh, okay, no, 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 we're okay. For the six foot tree, I only need one middle section. Uh, and then we need the base. Okay, very good. Product assembly. So first, we put the base down, then the bottom section, then the middle, then the top. That makes, that makes a lot of sense. And then we plug all the plugs together, and then we plug the bottom plug into the wall. Okay, let's try. This is the corner that the tree is going to live in. I'm not sure if it's gonna fit fully. I actually put on a ring light for this video so you can see what I'm doing. So shout out to me for being professional. What do I do with these? I feel like this is probably for something, right? These little, these thingies. These. <laughs> well, what's the instructions say, Raven? Let's read, let's use that big brain to read. Okay, so reason would stand to, it would stand to reason <laughs> that if this is a base square, I'd probably put it into the base. Okay, I know this. I've made Christmas trees before. I've put them together. I'm not new to this, I'm true to this. You ever heard that saying, I'm not new to this, I'm true to this? If you black, you know what I'm talking about. I feel like some Jewish people might find it almost like kind of sacrilegious <laughs> that I'm putting up a Christmas tree and getting like my menorah together and all of that to celebrate. But honestly, I think that there are more people who grew up in multi-faith or interfaith or have multi-faith backgrounds than we like give credit to. And so, I don't know, I think it's fun to like mishmatch. Sir, I think Matzo likes the tree. <laughs> I think it's fun to explore like different religions in tandem. I understand that some people have a very singular kind of devout orientation towards religion and I respect that. For me personally, I see religion as something that can be amazing, that can offer you philosophies and a roadmap for life so that you can live more fully and generatively. But for me, it's not about like choosing one thing and having 100% faith. It's like, okay, there are good things about Christianity. There are really helpful and fruitful things about nature and Buddhism and about Judaism and about Islam. And so how can I tap into the things that serve me and leave the things that don't, you know? And putting up a Christmas tree every year makes me feel really good and nostalgic about my childhood and it serves me. So maybe one of the more superficial ways to tap into my Christian roots, but it makes me feel good. So what the heck? All of the little things are in the base now, so let's attempt to put this bottom bit in. It seems pretty foolproof, right? It seems that way. We'll see. Ah! <laughs> My um, tripod is low-key kind of broken, so sorry for this disgusting angle, but we got the bottom piece on. Let me, let me show you, like POV, so you can actually see what's going on. There's the bottom piece. It looks it looks a little sparse right now, but I have faith. It said that it needs to fluff out. So let's let's put the next piece on and see where we get. Every year when my mom and I would go home for Christmas, I would always make, oh, sorry. I can't talk while I'm putting this up. I need to focus so I don't hurt myself. Every year when we were visiting my grandparents for Christmas, I always had like things that I did with my grandma. So for example, we would always bake Christmas cookies together and we would always decorate the Christmas tree together. And like many families, like we as a family definitely had like special ornaments that we'd always put on. I don't really have that yet since this is my first Christmas tree. So that's why I just got like the bulk blue ones. Cause that's also very Jewish, you know, blue is a very holy color in Judaism. So I'm kind of, I'm tying that in even to the Christmas tree. You see, I'm trying to do something here. I'm really trying. And whenever I think about Christmas trees, I think about decorating with my grandma while she's playing all of her favorite like Barbara Streisand music. And it just makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside, you know? This is starting to look a little like a tree. I will say though, um, and I'll show you this at the end, the white stuff, 
everywhere, okay? Looks pretty, but uh, very messy. Pulling off the little tags. All right, wow. It's time for the last piece. Okay, here we go. Fluffing out this last part. Good. Wow, wow. You know what I just realized? I did not get a star or anything like that for the top of the tree. We might have to get creative. Oh my gosh, I feel like such a grown up. Look, I have a Christmas tree. Look, I have a Christmas tree. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I'm going to sweep up and I'll circle back to you when it's a little less chaotic on the floor. Let me actually show you what I'm talking about so you're not just like, she's being dramatic. Um, it's literally all over the floor. It's all over the floor. All right, so I'm gonna clean it and then I'll see you in a minute. Bye. I look like I've been through it and that's because I have, but look at her, she's so pretty. While I was off camera for the last like 20 minutes or so, I fluffed it out, I connected all the cords. So let me push you back a little bit and then let's turn on the lights. Okay, here's the big light reveal. Let's see, let's see. Oh, I also put the little, um, the skirt around it, but you can't see that. I'll, I'll show you in a little bit, but anyways. <laughs> okay, here we go, you ready? One, <laughs> two. Three. Ah, look! That's a whole Christmas tree. Oh, it's so pretty. I did this, y'all, I did that. Now it's time for ornaments. Oh, I also regret to inform you that one of the menorahs fell off, uh, a casualty of war, as it were. So rest in pieces. I'm gonna take this off now. Let's start with the blue ornaments. Okay, so these ones aren't really, I thought they were gonna be like hanging ornaments. They're just like floating things. So I don't, I feel like that's weird to just put in the tree, right? I'm not gonna put it in. I think I'm gonna sprinkle them on my console. So let's turn off the ring light and see the final effect of the tree. Pretty! It looks very dull on camera, but in real life, it's super pretty. <laughs> Okay, so now we're moving on to the entryway table in my spot. This is gonna be the designated Hanukkah area. I don't even know what this is called. Is it a runner? I know a runner is a thing you put on the ground. Is that a fly for, is, is it just a tablecloth? I'm not sure. Anyways, put this across the table. Okay, we gotta make sure it's even. All right, all right, very good. See that? Beautiful. Uh, now we are gonna get a little creative since we got all those snowflakes and I didn't realize that they were like not ornaments, we're gonna put them all over the table. So you see how we tied the blue into the tree? We're tying the tree into the Hanukkah corner. It's like a whole mishmash happening. I just found this. The snowflakes come with the little thing and then you can, that's too much work. They're not already pre-made. I'm sorry, but that's too much work. I'm not doing that. <laughs> we're just gonna sprinkle them all over the table. Beautiful. Now for the star of the show, the menorah. We're gonna put her right in the middle, okay? Where she belongs, front and center. Well, I guess back and center, because it's kind of back on the table, but you know, same principle applies. I am going to put some of my normal stuff back up on the table. So like, you know, my masks, my keys, my Ventra card, and my Buddhas, okay? You see my Buddhas? See the babies? Rub the belly, see? Now we're even tiring, tying. Oh. Okay, my tripod is officially broken, broken. So as I was saying, I'm putting my Buddha back on the table. This is, uh, this is cute. You wanna see the final, final thing? Well, let's put our lamp, I have this lamp, let's put this back on because that lives here, see, boom. Oh, I also need to put my security system back on the table. Okay, so that kind of takes away from the aesthetic a little bit, but hey, light and security are important. Do you like it? Okay, nice, thank you. Okay, my uh, apartment is kind of a disaster. There are like a million boxes in the corner, but um, let me do one last little show of all that we've accomplished today. Again, let's turn off the ring light. Let's really appreciate the natural ambiance of my home right now. Let me know if you wanna see more black and Jewish, multi-faith stuff like this. It's fun for me. That's all I have to say. Happy holidays, no matter what you're celebrating, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.